This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Today is that special of all days, a new guitar day. What we have inside this box here, which I'm going to be opening very shortly, is an Epiphone Les Paul Studio uh, bought as an ex-demonstration model from uh, UK music retailer Gear for Music. So, uh, let's uh, get the box cutter. Here we go, and um, let's get opening a box. So, just got to try and find a way of moving this camera down a little bit. So, hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. And let's just start slipping this tape on here. What we're interested in is, I guess, just first impressions. This is, as I said, a next demonstration uh, guitar. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't that what we just used to call? A new guitar. Um, once upon a time you would walk into a guitar shop and there would be guitars hanging on the wall. Oop, just knocked the camera around there, excuse me. There would be guitars hanging on the wall and you'd try one down and if you liked it you'd bought it and or you'd buy it rather and if you didn't like it you'd put it back and I guess this is one of the ones that has been put back. It's um, as I say an ex-demonstration model. So Oh, and a box within a box. This is like Russian dolls, isn't it? And we can see that it's been opened before because we've got, uh, I don't know if you can see in here, but you've got some uh, some gaffer tape that's been applied. Let's get rid of this outer box. And let me tell you a little bit about the guitar. I'm the first person to admit that I'm not the world's biggest authority on Gibson and Epiphone guitars. I am no trogly as it happens. Um, but all of the Epiphone Les Paul studios I've seen have been, um, you know, sort of cheap entry level guitars that are sort of Les Paul shaped, but you know, they've usually got like a slab poplar body and um, a bolt on neck and stuff. But this, is an actual you know proper les paul recipe uh, that's going on in this guitar we have mahogany and i think it's an indian laurel fretboard i'll put all the specs downstairs in the description uh, but it's a set neck guitar with um you know decent quality hopefully alnico 2 or alnico pickups i'm not sure what grade of alnico they are um, so here we come, out of the box, um, we'll have a look at that in a moment, what else have we got in here, uh, some uh, bits and pieces, some paperwork, that kind of thing, so we'll have a look at that in a sec, and uh, not much of anything else, but you know, that's, what else do you need, needs to be said, um, so let's get this shroud off of it, and take a look there we go let's just move the camera around so you can see there it is um this color is called smokehouse burst and um there you can see set neck um and i do really rather like this uh, latest um headstock design for epiphone the the old one um where there was just you know it seemed to have these corners clipped out you know it just always looked a bit out of place on les paul funnily enough i used to think it was perfectly in keeping for a for a semi-acoustic um guitar but uh let's just take that off there uh no poker chip on here can't remember if there was one of those on the uh pictures or not we get presumably these are for switching the the pickups into single coil mode uh, I didn't see that on the listing. Nothing at all going on with the tone pots. They are just regular tone pots. Uh, looking at it out the box, the action is on the high side of average, I would say. So I'll be fettling that a little bit. Um, but, you know, 
horribly out of tune of course but but um, yeah so it's a quite an attractive looking thing I think um, it's not a Les Paul studio, uh, an Epiphone Les Paul studio, as as I've seen it before. Yes, it's uh, you can definitely see that Indian laurel fretboard there. Nice lump of wood, but um, you know you can see. I don't know if you can see up there, up on the um, the higher frets on the on the treble strings, where there's quite a dramatic change in colour. There, I'm not sure how well that's coming out on camera, but you know it's. Just a cosmetic thing, and this is, after all, I think I paid three seven five for this guitar, uh, discounted because it was, um, you know, a, an ex demonstrator model. But I'm just looking, giving it a once over to see if I can see any, you know, scuffs or chips or anything on it. And frankly, I don't think I can. Oh yes, Grover machine heads, um, nice touch. I don't really think I can see it's it's got finger marks and stuff all over it, as you would expect, but any any kind of dark coloured or black guitar is going to, to show those up um much more um noticeably than on any other guitar. We've still got the um the little peel away plastic cellophane things on the pickups um and on the pick guard as well, actually. Um yeah. It's going to need a setup and tuning up and everything. And uh, once I've got all that done, I will be uh, doing a video on, you know, kind of a first impressions playthrough and, and so on and so forth. But I am you know, quite impressed with this uh, so far. And uh, we'll see how it sounds in the next video. So there you go, folks. That is the Epiphone Les Paul Studio Um in smokehouse burst um well worth uh checking out these uh demonstrator models because i've had a few guitars from different companies now uh that have been ex demonstrators and you know it, i just get the feeling correct me if i'm wrong that this is exactly what i was talking about it's just a guitar that's been on the shop floor and been tried by various customers and then um you know it's it's sold as an ex demonstration model it's not you you, you would not know that this wasn't a, a box fresh guitar uh brand new um but you know you get a little bit of money knocked off because it's an ex demonstrator so there you go anyway that's pretty much it for today folks hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing as i say um next video or one of the next couple of videos will be uh, a bit of a tone test on the guitar so i look forward to uh sharing those um those sounds with you um if you've enjoyed the video please hit subscribe and the notification bell if you haven't already done so let me come back and talk to you uh please hit subscribe and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it if you're interested in supporting the channel all the links are downstairs in the description but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now